Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Today we are going to study about clampers or clamping circuits. So what is a clamper? A clamper is an electronic circuit that places the peak of an AC signal which can be the positive or the negative peak at any desired DC level. Actually what it does is that it shifts the peak of the signal upwards or downwards to a desired DC level. So what is the peak of a signal? So here let's say this is an AC signal. So this point here is the positive peak and this point here is the negative peak. So what the clamper does is that it shifts both the positive and negative peak of a signal simultaneously in the upward or the downward direction. So there are two types of clampers or clamping circuits positive and negative clampers we are going to discuss about uh, those things in detail so before that let's just understand what a clamper or clamping circuit actually does so here it is an ac signal with uh, positive peak value plus 5 volt and negative peak value minus 5 volt it has an average value of 0 volt over one complete cycle that is positive peak value plus negative peak value by 2 and the peak to peak value which is the maximum variation between the maximum and the minimum amplitude level which is equal to 5 minus minus 5 is equal to 10 volt now when this uh, signal is fed to a positive clamper, we are considering positive clamper in this case, we get the output resultant waveform as this. So notice the changes that has happened to the signal. The positive peak has shifted to twice of the input positive peak, which is 10 volt. Whereas the negative peak has changed from minus 5 volt to 0 volt. So it has moved upwards by 5 volt magnitude. This it has just moved upwards from this 5 volt. So the changes that have uh, happened to the signal is that the average value has changed from 0 volt to 5 volt over one complete cycle whereas the peak to peak value has remained unchanged. So there are two things worth noting related to clampers. A clamping circuit brings about no change to the peak to peak value of the signal and the average value changes where, uh, when a signal is uh, fed to a clamper circuit. So let's discuss some more concepts. Basic uh, concept behind clampers. So this is a circuit diagram of a basic clamper circuit. This is the input waveform. Normally square waveform is uh, used. This is a parallel plate capacitor with value 1 microfarad. A semiconductor diode is used with its uh, N type N connected to one plate of the capacitor while this shorted point is connected to one end of the load resistor. The P type end is finally connected to ground. Well, with the shorted, it's shorted here, which is connected to ground, and this shorted point is also connected to the other end of the load resistance. Now the output voltage is obtained across the load resistance. 
Now the basic thing, the basic play which is involved in the clamper circuit is that the charging time of the capacitor is made deliberately very 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 less as compared to the discharging time of the capacitor so the discharging time of the capacitor is very large as compared to the charging time another important thing is that the discharging time of the capacitor is very large as compared to the time period of the square waveform it has its own significance we'll discuss that so there are two things the discharging time is very high very high as compared to the charging time of the capacitor and also very high as compared to the time period of the square waveform so we'll discuss that here the charging time constant so when the diode becomes forward bias it gets open circuited under that condition the capacitor uh, capacitor starts charging from the input supply voltage so the charging time constant is given by tau is equal to r subscript f which is the forward resistance of the diode in forward bias condition multiplied with the capacitance value which is 10 ohm into 1 microfarad which is equal to 10 microseconds now when the diode is reverse biased it gets open circuited obviously under that condition the capacitor discharges the acquired charge through the load resistance and an output voltage is obtained in that case so under that condition the discharging time constant is given by load resistance multiplied with the capacitance value which is 10 kilo ohm the load resistance into 1 microfarad which is equal to 10 millisecond so see here the discharging time constant is much greater than the charging time constant by convention 5 is multiplied with both these values to get the uh, total charging time and discharging time which are 50 microseconds and 50 milliseconds so only 5 is multiplied with them but still the discharging time is of the order of milliseconds whereas the charging time is of the order of microseconds so the discharging time is very high why it is kept high we will see here now this is the positive clamper circuit now same circuit diagram same components connected in the same fashion now during the negative half cycle of the waveform square waveform this terminal becomes negative this terminal becomes positive as the positive polarity end or terminal is connected to the p type end of the diode and the n type end is connected to the negative terminal or polarity end the diode is forward biased gets short circuited under that condition i told you earlier the capacitor starts charging from the input supply voltage as this path gets short circuited and all the current always takes the minimum resistance path so this is the modified circuit diagram the short circuited diode so the capacitor starts charging from the supply voltage input supply voltage b up to the peak value and uh, as no current flows through the load resistance the output voltage is zero now during the positive half cycle the reverse thing happens this terminal becomes positive this terminal becomes negative as the negative terminal is connected to the p type n and the positive terminal is connected to the n type n the diode is reverse biased and gets open circuited so in this condition the modified circuit diagram is like this open circuited so in that case the capacitor discharges through the load resistance now why the discharging time period is made high we'll see here as i said to you earlier that the discharging time constant or time period is much greater than 
द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द इनपुट स्क्वायर वेव फॉर्म सो द डायोड सॉरी द कैपेसिटर द डिस्चार्जिंग टाइम ऑफ द कैपेसिटर इज हाई एज कंपेयर टू द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ दिस स्क्वायर वेव फॉर्म सो ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड दैट इज ड्यूरिंग द पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल during which the diode is reversed by as an open circuiter in this period of time the capacitor still retains the previous charge it still retains its original value that is the peak value v so when we put kvl in this closed loop we get v plus v as we move from negative to positive so plus v minus the output voltage as this two terminals are open circuited the diode becomes reverse bias the output voltage appears across these two terminals minus v out is equal to 0 so v out is equal to twice of v which is the peak value of the input waveform so what we got the output voltage is twice or double that of the input voltage so how does did it happen it is because the discharging time constant or time period of the capacitor is deliberately made very large as compared to the time period of the square wave form we'll see here the discharging time period of the capacitor is much greater than t that's why it still holds the charge during the positive half cycle so during the positive half cycle it still holds the charge so as a result of it when we apply kvl in the circuit we get twice of the voltage so here it is the output of the clamper is twice of the peak value of the input square waveform in the positive direction upwards so the signal is shifted upwards so this is the positive clampers now we'll discuss about negative clampers the same thing the same circuit the same components are connected but the thing is that in this case the diode is inverted in an inverted position so see here here the p type end is uh, down uh, the p type end is downwards the n type end is upwards but in this case the n type end is downwards and the p type end is upwards so the same thing so during the positive half cycle this terminal becomes positive connected to the p type end this terminal becomes negative connected to the n type end so the diode becomes forward biased gets short circuited so as a result of it the capacitor starts charging through the short circuited path and charges up to the peak voltage v and as no current flows through the load resistance the output voltage is zero so during the negative half cycle when this terminal comes negative and is connected to p type n this is the positive terminal connected to the n type n the diode becomes reverse biased and gets open circuited so the capacitor discharges through the load resistance now as the discharging time period or time constant of the capacitor is deliberately made larger than the time period of the input square wave form so during this half cycle the capacitor still holds the charge that is the peak value peak potential v so putting kvl in this closed loop we get minus v as we move from positive to negative sign minus v which is the charge still 
cooled by the capacitor which is minus V minus V out is equal to 0 minus V minus V minus V out is equal to 0. So, V out is equal to minus of the twice of the peak value of the input square waveform. So, in this case the exact opposite happens to that of the positive clamper. The dial uh, the output waveform is shifted downwards and we get twice of the output uh, twice of the input peak value but in the negative direction downwards. So, it is the exact opposite thing to the positive clamper. So, the main thing to remember in clampers is that the discharging time constant of the capacitor is deliberately made large as compared to the charging time constant and the time period of the input square waveform. That is the main concept, that is the important fundamental concept. This enables the circuit to give us an output which is twice where the peak value is twice in the particular direction either in the positive direction or in the opposite direction in the negative direction. So, this is the uh, some concepts related to basic clamping circuits. So, I have discussed with you all some of the basic concepts about clampers. So, I hope you liked it. Now, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such uh, videos related to concepts on electronics engineering. Uh, have a good day. Thank you very much.